Hey everyone, welcome to Tragic GPK. And what we have today is my first foray into uh, OS 6, 6 series Garsfield Kids. My first packs cracked in uh, over 30 years, almost 40 years, something like that. 35, yeah, sure. Uh, so what I've got here is a, another binder to get into um, to start building my collection. So the green binder is my uh, first series. Uh, all the way through fifth series and I'm just filling it out as I go as I crack packs here to try to get a um, I have a complete first series but I'm going to fill out second through um, fifth in this binder and then the yellow binder green and yellow gross colors right so I'll be doing a sixth through tenth series in there so this one is uh Brand new, fully empty. It's time to start filling it up. So we are going to start by cracking six packs of all new six series GPK. New from Tops from 1986 or 7 probably. Let's see, when did they get into 1987? Man, 86. So they did uh, series 1 through 6 between 85 and 86. I'm not sure when 87 rolled around, what series they were in. So there's six packs. Let's see what we can get here. Um, I'm only putting into the binder the non-gum uh, and wax cards. So I'm hopeful I can get most of a set out of each series out of a full box. I may have to uh, go and <clears throat> get more packs to open. Uh, you can send away for a special sweatshirt. I don't know if that uh, offer is still valid. I'm guessing not. Here we go. So I, I, I believe when I was uh, originally getting Garsfield Kids, I know I had third, fourth, and fifth. I'm not positive if I was able to get any six series before my parents got wind of how just gross. Oh, it's so terrible. And they took them all away. So Old Gloria is the wax car. It's not too bad. We've got Dinah, Mike. Uh, so far, I don't remember either of these. So I'll let you know if I remember if I had any of these. We got a Rose Dispose. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Okay, what was on the back here? Yeah, uh, a Bazooka Go Joe uh, comic strip. That's hilarious. Pagan Megan. Yeah, no, I don't think my parents would have liked that at all. More comics. And then Many Lenny uh, has got the gum on it, so that's pretty much going to be somewhat ruined. I don't know if there's a way to fix that. They're like the sucrose is like seeped into the cardboard. There's not much hope for it. All right, let's do another one of these. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, anyone who's here watching, make sure to hit the like button. Smash it. Just smash it all the way. And uh, subscribe, of course, if you're into this kind of stuff. Cold cut. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Well, yeah, there's enough there that I can actually notice it. So, cold cut is being sliced. And there's a checklist on the back. Overflow through Dynamite, 207 to 250. Got a wax one. John John, with some graffiti there. Potty Scotty was here. Got puzzles. We've got Troy Toy. That one's pretty funny. Yeah, I don't remember seeing any of these yet. We got Uplifting Clifton. What's wrong with him? Just gravity? And he had an, didn't have a neck. Gravity is getting his ice cream cone as well. Hey, what's going on? I'm spinning around in a circle. Shut up or I'll nail your other foot to the floor. Gross. Terrible. Gnawing Nora. It's got gum on the back. More comic strips. There we go. Fun times. I don't care what anyone says. I'm loving the nostalgia here. That's what it's all about for me. We got Moist Joyce. That must be dynamite, I think. Joan Clone. The clones are actually growing out of her. That's pretty not great. Rusty Heap. That's funny. It's just a car. A messed up old car. Manual Labor. That's funny. All of these are funny. Mark Spark. Oh, no. The fireworks are blowing me up. Oh, no. Oops. Let's see, we got a comic strip with uh, Dead Ted and, oh, Grim, oh, there it says Beth, Beth Death and Dead Ted. 
Do you have any hobbies? Just music. Composing? No. Decomposing. Oh, my God. That joke was so funny that Beth Death fell over in surprise. That's funny. Welcome to Garbage Pail Kids Humor, people. If you're still here at this point, you're probably someone who can appreciate that. I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to go out on several limbs and say that you are into this if you're here still. Manny Lenny. Abraham Wrinklin. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, I get he's wrinkled. He could be named Abraham, but he's not. He doesn't have any resemblance to Abraham Lincoln, the name that they're spoofing here, but I don't know. I like that. I think that's really funny because I'm, I'm just like that, you know. Abraham Wrinklin. <laughs> okay, that makes me laugh a lot already. All right. It's got a bucket of nuclear waste on the back, so... Abraham Wrinklin, best pun of the day. Rose Dispose, I think we got that one again. And I don't know, was it, was Rose Dispose one of the gum or wax cards? So now it's a duplicate. Bert Cage. And then we got Jose Can You See. <laughs> Jose Can You See, unfortunately has gum on the back. So we'll need, we'll need another copy of Jose Can You Can See at some point. All right, here we go. There's a different version of Burt Cage. There we go. Harry Canary. Is that like a play on Harry Carey? Could be. Not bad on the wax. I don't know. If they really need to look up on how it's salvaging the wax card. George Washington. So we've got presidential puns here, huh? And they're not really anything to do with what's actually pictured. But uh, I like this one too, the presidential pun. So here's the other one. Jerry Atrick. Okay, so that kind of makes sense, and it's more just kind of neutral than a than a presidential name. But uh, I like Abraham Wrinklin like quite a bit. I have to say, <laughs> okay, Small Saul. Oh no, he's gonna get smushed. And we got Cole Cut, and this one is a uh, uh, a good duplicate that we need. And then John John, he's got the gum. All right, last pack here. Get my gum residue out of here. And my wax residue. Alright. Nasal hazel. Yeah. There's some nasal stuff going on there. Like, yeah, yeah, there's just enough wax to make it noticeable. Intense pain. This is interesting to put the actual band-aid as the, the name background. So I don't know if I've seen that before. They started to get clever with the, the designs on these. Yeah, it, it does hurt to take a Band-Aid off of, especially like a full-size chest size Band-Aid. That, that would be difficult. Lolly Poppy. So I, I, don't, I haven't recognized any of these. I must not have had any uh, six series. I know that I was definitely into fifth series when my parents were like, nope, you got to give these up. Koi Roy. So this is all new for me. Uh, and that's really kind of fun to see uh, some art that I've never seen before. Bridget Digit. Yeah, those digits are definitely gross for sure. And Total Todd. That was pretty cool. It's like a like uh, guy from Mad Max. What was I don't even know his name. He kind of is Mad Max there, sort of. Is that what they were going for? Guess we'll find out if we ever find... 237B, if it's some kind of Mad Max play, I'm going to kind of go out on a limb and say that it probably is. All right, so that's that. Here's our good stack. These are going to go into the yellow binder to start filling them out. And then uh, once I get, obviously, I don't know if you've noticed on this channel, I'm doing like in order. So two, three, four, five, six. So I'll do a seven, eight, nine, ten opening, and then I'll rotate back to series two. I'm not going to be opening series one. I already have a full set. Um, but it's too expensive to pull those out of packs. So two through 10 and then back uh, several times over until I hopefully end up with a full set of each. May have to fill in the missing ones through trading or whatever. So anyway, Tragic GPK, thanks for coming along. Check out my other videos. Subscribe and do all the YouTube stuff down below. And I'll catch you on the next one.